and you want to go ahead and push that mall, you've got to go ahead and get that structured early push. So a lot of that coming from Utah today as they play this emerging Chicago Hounds team. But stolen by Utah. Very nice counter rook. They have the advantage as well. Bryce Campbell going to put a little bit of a left foot to it. It's a foot race. Going to come back for that penalty. Cardi slots this one with ice in his veins. The first points ever scored by the Chicago Hounds at home. Miscue through the hands, but picked up by Dominguez. Out to the wing. Got a little bit of space with the reach. And there's the first five-pointer ever at SeatGeek Stadium for the Chicago House. And boy, do they love it. Steps on the outside. You run at tree limbs, not at tree trunk. So he run, runs at the arms and the gap right there, splits it and slams it down in the corner. Tackle, let it go to six. Now seven, fine advantage offside. Advantage for offsides, penalty advantage to Utah. No 13, you're in the side, let it go. Oh, what a wonderful offhand. It's gonna be forward there, but we'll come back for the penalty. Last or two weeks ago, we saw them do a lot of that and they scored three tries from it against DC, but here they, take that ball up strong and then they get it out wide to Strom and they scored a beautiful try in the corner. It really shows a versatility there. And Utah on the attack here, trying to push this one over. It looks like they've got it over and touched it down. Beautiful stuff from the Utah forward pack. Yeah, Luke Rogan's going to do a double whistle here. Somebody could be Having a chat. Number seven off his feet in the side. And it is a yellow card. Lance Williams off his feet. And those are the moments you look for in a big match. And Seat Geek would have erupted and possibly fell over if that would have happened. Clearing kick by Chicago. Great job to keep that inbound for Utah. The attack still on. Lasique going to push them out to the edge to the fresh legs of Tago. He's going to fight to stay in. He does well. Hodgkin with a bunch of forwards around him. A big pod. Basket in there. Pulling this out again. Beats one, two. He's got friends on the outside. Green grass in front of him. Joe Mono going to take this one over for the first points of the second half, and Utah takes the lead. They've been coming to that edge time and time again, trying to find the right recipe from Utah on the edge. Taking a look at this phase play out the back. Hudson gets the ball, spot runner, and then right here out the back, just getting around the opposite. That creates the overlap. Skip ball out to the corner. On the edge, Cardi just does not just take the right shot. angle on the edge against the faster winger. And that's just beautiful awareness and just skill play from Utah. Watch here again, Spoffel at the back, running around the corner, taking the opposite, committing that winger, bring him in, allowing for that open side, not allow the defense to drift off to the edge. Making that defense on the corners, make decisions, just beautiful from Utah. We talked about this last night in our game, the Eastern Conference really tight in point standings right now. So Utah and Chicago wanting to get all the bonus points they can here. And that try is helping him get there. He's solid, he puts it through, no sweat. Number 17, no attempt to lap, we'll come back down to you, I warned you. 17. And another yellow card for Utah. This is Emerson Pryor. He'll be lucky to get back on the pitch. Okay. Taking a look at it here. Right on the edge. There's the shoulder throw on the bottom. And just barely an attempt to wrap at the end of it. You can't leave with your shoulder. Going. Looking for the clearance from Hodgkins. And he puts it into the stands. And Utah taking this close, close match, 14 to 10 over Chicago in their first home opener.